first, for some, this is a real-life horror story as well. Uh, it turns out that, according to the investigation by the Tory MP Neil O'Brien, around 300 people in government departments have words uh, like equality, diversity, inclusion, uh, or gender or race in their job titles. Uh, and uh, 170,000 civil servants have taken unconscious bias training courses, all of which costs us money. Unconscious bias is that system by which you didn't think you were a racist, uh, but you are really. Uh, it's a way of... Uh, depicting a country that is full of racism uh, when it's not actually full of racism. Uh, it's a very strange thing, but it seems to be catching on. Uh, let's talk to uh, John O'Connell, Chief Executive of the Taxpayers Alliance. Hello, John. Hi, Kevin. Uh, this isn't what I want my taxpayers' money to be spent on. I mean, how is the government justifying spending fortunes on sending... Uh, what is it, hundreds of thousands of civil servants on uh, these courses on unconscious bias. What's that got to do with frontline governmental services? Um, very little. Um, and much like you, I don't think it's how taxpayers' money should be spent at all. Um, on top of the 170,000 um, civil servants taking this online training course that they have to do every year, there's also another 400,000 spent by government departments on face-to-face -face training sessions to do with unconscious bias. So, uh, you know, there's lots of money being wasted here. And a lot of it's to do with gold plating. So you get these, um, you know, pieces of legislation and regulations that come through saying that public bodies must adhere to certain equality guidelines. And then what happens is that bureaucrats decide that they need to hire a load of staff to um, make sure that they tick those boxes, where in fact, they don't actually need to do that at all. They can carry out and adhere to those guidelines without hiring a you know an army of extra bureaucrats to tell us that you know we're all racist or that we're all you know homophobic yeah i mean that's the point about unconscious bias training isn't it it, it is to detect racism where there is no racism isn't it <laughs> uh, well it's, it, it, it's let's just say it's an unproven scientific concept kevin i mean it's um it's it's this idea that um p people are biased in their everyday activity whether they sort of know it or not therefore it's unconscious and it just needs you know somebody more worthy than you or i to bring it out of us but um i did i you know to me taxpayers money is precious we all work hard for it um, we all hand it over expecting it to be spent on frontline services um and that's exactly where it should go and of course you know if there is equality legislation that, that you know that makes the the country a more accepting place fine 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 but don't gold plate these regulations and hire armies and armies of bureaucrats to tell us what to do yeah. 45 uh, of the Ministry of Defence uh, staff uh, have one or more of the words equality, diversity, inclusion, gender, LGBT or race in their job title. Ministry of Defence. What's, what's that got but, to do with defence? Uh, yeah. And, and again, it, it, a lot of it's the scale, right? It's 45 people. What I know. That's that, I mean, that's that you're talking there. Trying to, th I mean, I'm no good at maths, but that that's a few million a year in salaries, isn't it? Well, yeah, and then pensions and everything else besides. But yeah. you know, if, if there was one person, you might sort of say, okay, fair enough. But what are 45 people doing every single day on these jobs? You know, when they're. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I've always wondered what a diversity officer does. How do they fill yeah. eight hours a day? Uh, I have no, my well, theories. <laughs> yeah. Well, indeed. And, and, and again, it's just this idea that we, there is a law passed and it might be well intentioned, it might be needed and all of the rest of it. That's all debated in Parliament and that's fine. But then to hire 45 people to enact it, 45. My organisation has, you know, 13 people in it, the taxpayers' mm. lines. And yeah. people can treble the size of an organisation like mine but, to do this one one area. Bear in mind, John, also that MPs have been uh, asked to go on these unconscious bias training courses as well. All feeds into what they call critical race theory, which is all about telling people who aren't racist that they are actually, but they don't realise it. Uh, there's also a notice board at the Houses of Parliament where white people can go and pin uh poems uh on on the special board which explain how they're uh the beneficiaries of white privilege uh it's 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 a a kind of scourge that's growing and growing isn't it yeah and i it's 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 divisive by its nature and it's quite destructive to social fabric 
um, and th th there shouldn't be any taxpayers' money spent on it. There is a, there's a few MPs now that um, have publicly declared that they're not going to take this training. Um, you know, they're not going to be dragged there. So, you know, more power to their elbow. But, you know, it, people can have all sorts of personal interests, wh whatever they like. But when taxpayers' money is involved, you know, that should be going to frontline services first and foremost. Yeah, I mean, I suppose, you know, uh, each ministry, uh, I wouldn't mind if there was one diversity officer. Uh, seems fair enough, I suppose, in these modern ages. But as you say, 41 in one uh, ministry, the Ministry of Defence, <laughs> why would they need What's that got to do with defence? Uh, and it's a, a sort of growing problem, I think, that uh, we are spending more and more money on these useless jobs. Uh, and it's wasting our money, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And we looked at it on um, a local government basis many years ago now. And again, just to sort of demonstrate the scale, there were some councils that looked at the regulations and, you know, they sort of they gave the, the tasks to somebody that was already on staff and it became sort of, you know, a half of their week or whatever else. And, and other councils would hire reams and reams of people. So mm -hmm. there were some yeah. councils doing it very sensibly and there yeah. were some councils doing it not very sensibly at all. Yeah. But it seems that other departments are taking that latter yeah. route of hiring you know armies well, of people john uh keep up the good work because uh, this is a kind of madness and it's got to be stopped uh that john o'connell their chief executive of the taxpayers alliance uh, i'm kevin o'sullivan and this is the home and the zone of common sense talk radio <laughs>